Hey everyone, this is Homeschool Arcade, helping educators thrive, and in today's video we're doing Nutrition 101, an introduction to, well, nutrition. So let's check it out. Now, in our quick definition of nutrition video, I said nutrition was providing the body with essential, important nutrients that are found in food and are necessary to support life and good health. But did you know there are many different processes involved in nutrition, including how do we get those nutrients, how our body even takes them and breaks it down, or how our body uses those nutrients to keep it running properly. Now, the field of nutritional science deals with numerous different topics, including how an organism is nourished and how nourishment affects personal health population health, and planetary health. And all of these great topics can be studied in any type of living organism. Now, in our video series, we will be focusing on the personal health in human beings. And this area of study, well, it's very complex. It's always changing, and researchers are still learning more amazing things about nutrition in our bodies and our minds to this day. But it's our hope that we will help you learn about the basics of nutrition and learn why good nutrition is so important for you. So with that, let's start with our first question about nutrition that we want to answer for you today. So when we're talking about nutrition and how we obtain nutrients, does the type of food we eat matter? And quickly, the answer is yes. Your body is put together to best process some foods better than others. Just like an engine in a car. If you put in the wrong kind of fuel in a car, the car might not work right or it might even break down. So yes, it is important. High quality, nutritious foods help us to maintain good health. So that's a good follow-up. And what I mean is the word health. We hear that word a lot, but what exactly is health? What does that word really mean? Well, let's try this. The World Health Organization states that health is a state of complete physical and mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. And although food is not the only factor in good health, it does play a significant role. So I want you to keep that in mind. So if we put low quality foods, like this one, as opposed to maybe good quality foods, like, well, these, our engines aren't gonna be able to work as well as they were designed to. And yes, sometimes when we don't put the right things in, that can lead to sickness and disease, which leads to our next question about nutrition. So, question number two, what exactly is disease? How do we define it? Well, disease is described as any abnormal condition affecting the health of an organism and is characterized by certain symptoms or signs. So let's think about what if your body doesn't get all the nutrients it needs and so much so that it's even deprived? Well, we would call that malnutrition. And when your body doesn't have the nutrients that it needs and it's suffering from malnutrition, well then it's possible that you'll see that express itself in symptoms and other signs in the body. It could be anything from feeling tired and lethargic to certain functions of the body not working properly. Now, let's check out today's FYI. FYI for your information. Which one do you think has more calories? A pound of carrots or two tablespoons of chocolate spread? Well, at first I thought it was Nutella, but they both have the same amount. They both have 200 calories. Try this. I think so. Huh? Not about. I like it. So again, a simplistic way of explaining nutrition is that it's about putting what is best in the body to get the best out of the body. Now that we have this background in nutrition, there are so many other questions that need to be answered. 
What are nutrients? What types of nutrients are out there? What about vitamins and minerals? What in the world are calories? How much of what should I eat? How do I measure how healthy I am? And there are many more questions too. So our hope is we can answer some of the most important questions regarding nutrition. So what I would like for you to do is if you enjoy this material, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and the bell so you won't miss any of this content that we have coming your way about nutrition, nutrients, and why we all need them. And to let you know, we're doing one other thing new this time. If you want, you can follow us on Instagram at Homeschool Arcade, where I'm hoping to share with you a little bit about what I'm doing in my nutrition journey and what we are doing for our family in that as well. So y'all have a great week and see you next time.